Hi, I'm Jeremy, and this is Verse by Verse, a short podcast all about exploring the insights and lessons of the inspired Word of God. Bones. That's what you're going to leave behind at the end of this life. Dry, lifeless bones. No function, no purpose, just the leftover remnants of something that was once filled with life and potential. Bones are a reminder that life ends. Peacefully or violently, comfortably or tragically, full of memories or too soon, our lives end. And then, silence. If you don't know God's plan, that silence can be deafening. It can fill you with despair. What hope can a pile of dry bones have? Well, it depends on who you ask. God, who created and designed all 206 bones of the human body, tells us the truth. Those bones have hope. In the Old Testament, God gave a very important vision to the prophet Ezekiel. He showed Ezekiel a valley filled with old, dry bones. What an unsettling sight that must have been. A valley full of remnants. Fragments of lives that had long since ended. How many stories. How many hopes and dreams were lying dormant in that valley? How many of those lives had ended in despair, not knowing what their future would look like, not knowing if they even had a future? In the vision, Ezekiel watches God reassemble these discarded skeletons. Bones come together, and then, miraculously, organs and muscles and sinews and skin appear to cover those skeletons. And then God fills them with the breath of life. Before Ezekiel's eyes, a valley of bones is transformed into a vast host of living, breathing human beings restored to life. God explained to Ezekiel that the bones belonged to the people of Israel. They had turned their back on God. They had died in despair. God told Ezekiel that it was as if the bones themselves were saying, Our bones are dry, our hope is lost, and we ourselves are cut off. The bones belonged to people who died thinking they had no hope left but they were wrong. God was showing Ezekiel a glimpse of a future time when the dead of the world, and not just the nation of Israel, but the tens of billions who have lived and died throughout human history, hopeless and not understanding what the future holds, will be restored to life. Here's what God promises those bones through Ezekiel, in Ezekiel 37, verses 13 and 14. Then you shall know that I am the Lord, when I have opened your graves, O my people and brought you up from your graves. I will put my spirit in you, and you shall live. And I will place you in your own land. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, says the Lord. We get a very brief glimpse of this moment on a worldwide scale in the book of Revelation. The apostle John, also seeing a vision from God, wrote in Revelation 20 verse 12, I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. What we can piece together from these two passages of scripture is that the overwhelming majority of the world's population, people who died not knowing or not understanding the God who created them, will be restored, resurrected to a period of physical life. And in that life, they will find hope. They will find an opportunity to get to know God and his plan for them. That's something we talk about a lot here at Life Open Truth. It's something we care about a lot. It's something God cares about a lot. It's one of the finishing touches of his plan for the entire human race. You can check out the show notes for material that goes deeper into discussing this important moment in God's plan, but for right now, I want to fix our attention on that valley full of dry bones. Our planet is covered in bones. Every set of those bones has a story, and a moment when that story ended. Some tragically, some peacefully. Some with regrets, some with horror, some with shame, some with surprise, some with resignation, some with comfort. God knows those bones. He knows where they belong. He knows their stories. He hasn't forgotten about a single one. In his perfect plan, there is hope for dry bones. Verse by Verse is a companion podcast to the Daily Bible Verse blog, which you can find on the Life, Hope, and Truth Learning Center. 
check out the show notes for more.